Hello everybody. So today I will talk about probability. The topic today is about Z normal distribution. So now I will show you how to answer. Question A 5B60 the rating which separates the lower 60% from the top 40%. So I will show you how to answer. The question they want to find about B60 in here. And we know that B60, that's it inside this formula. This is about mu and this is about mean. Over sigma. Sigma, that's it about standard deviation. And we know that this is equal to Z. So the first thing we need to know, we need to find the value of Z so that we can find the value of B60 in here. We know that the question they want to find the writing that separate the lower 60% and the top 40%. So we need to use this table in here. So this area is about 60% and this white area is represent about 40%. So we need to find about Z to make sure that the probability equal to 60%. So we see that that's about this area in here. So they are between about 0 to and 0 0.26 so in this situation I will choose about 0 0.255 because this is between about two numbers in here and if we divide by 2 we got approximate about 0 0.6 so we return back to this one so Z in here that's about 0 0.25 550 of 255 and now we have standard deviation that's about 50 and the mean that's about 200 and now we can find about B60 in here that should be about 50 multiplied by 0 0.255 plus 200 so because 50 go to the left and later that negative 200 go to the left that's why we have this one in here we calculate about this number and you got 212.75 and and so we approximate that's it about 212.8 because they want to round the nearest tent. Question number two if an ap applicant is randomly selected, find the probability of a rating that is between 200 and 295 and we round to 4 decimal place so we know that's 200 that's it about mean so they want to find about B between Z form number 0 because we have the formula of Z that should be like this So we put 200 in here. The mean is about 200 going here. And number 50 going here. So about 295 we put in here. Mean we put in here. And number 50 we put in here. So we can find about Z of this one in here. So we have 
one more night. So they want to find Z. They want to find probability of Z between from 0 to 1.9. So we need, need to use this table in here. So we need to find Z equals to 1.9. So that should be about from this area in here. We see that 1.90. We have 0 0.4713. So that means this one we have. Forty-seven point thirteen percent. Or maybe we can write about this number in here. Because the question they want to say round to four decimal place does mean they want to use this number. And the last one, if 30 different applicants are randomly selected, find the probability that that means it's a 219. So this one we can use about sampling distribution so the formula of this situation that should be about z equal to mu of sample minus the mu of the population over the sigma over the square root of n so we have the mean of this one is about 219. The mean of population is about 200. Over the sigma is about 50. The sample is about n equal to 30. We calculate about this number in here. You got 2.0812. Three. So the question mentioned, we want to find the probability that there means is about 219. So that means we have B and Z should be greater than 0, uh, sorry, choose boy 0, A, 1, 3. So to calculate about this one, we use this table in here. But now we need to find this y area to find about this area in here. So we use about 0 0.5 because this is a half of this one. So we have 0 0.5 minus this shaded area in here. So we can find the y area in here. So we need to find about the value 2.0813. We have two zero in here, and I will choose about eight. So that should be in here. So to do this one, I connect the light and zero volt in here. So the value we need to concentrate is about zero point four thousand eight hundred twelve. So 0 0.5 minus this number and we have the final answer. That is about 0 0.0188. So the final answer of this one is about 0 0.0188. And this is the final answer of the question C. This is the end. Thank you for watching.